Mazel Tov, it's a boy. On the morning of March the 10th, Rav Tzvi Kushalevsky, at the age of 88, celebrated the birth of his first child, a boy. Six years ago, the well-known Rosh Hashiva became a widower at the age of 82. Doctors had told him he could never have children. Rav Kushalevsky remarried. His second wife was then around 50 years old. And now, six years later, Hashem has presented the couple with a miracle. A ben b'chor for Reb Tzvi. I wasn't for a moment miyayish because I knew that our Kodesh Baruch was going to help me. And all he's doing is giving me this time, teaching me, teaching me, don't depend on anything else, not on doctors, not on professors, not on anything. Because you can talk directly to our Kodesh Baruch. And even if you don't feel it to begin with, it takes you 70 years, but it makes no difference. If the whole time you not Mishayish, the whole time you keep talking and you keep crying to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and then you will get it. And that's exactly what happened. And I got a beautiful boy, a beautiful boy, a wonderful boy. Everyone should learn these two rules. Number one, Torah is everything. Because that's what I was doing. I was learning Torah b'simcha. Then another thing is, I was mispalel every tefillah, in every tefillah, every day. Shemei tefillah, that's the equal. Shemei tefillah, the Kodesh Baruch Hu is mekabel tefillahs. At that point, I would say, Kodesh Baruch Hu, please, I know that you are going to give it to me. Please give it to me. Simcha is that the person who receives what you're giving, he is besimcha and he knows that you gave it. Nobody else can give it. Nobody else could. And then they all were mishayish, but I wasn't mishayish because I knew of these two facts. There is no yeush in this world. There is no despair. Never despair of what Hashem can do. And He never despairs of us. Nothing is impossible. Go back and look at all the things in your life that you said, ah, that's impossible. I'll never do that. It's never too late. It's never impossible.